Okay, we're gonna have to go to the left a little bit. Please don't. Oh my goodness! <gasps> Did you guys see that? That got that little flight did that did that chill in and right next to me. Hey guys, you right here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Sprocket episode. Last time it was kind of a learning experience. I didn't know what I was doing and it didn't really go too well. And for today's videos, I wanted to make like a Tiger H1 tank, but since I'm still a noob at this game, uh, I thought, you know, we could do the scenarios. There's a few different scenarios and we'll start from the top and just move down to the bottom and then learn as we build tanks. And then we can make like uh, replicas of real life, life tanks. So for today's video, we are starting at no tanks land, which is like a World War One trench combat area. So we're going to have to see what we can make there. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad you guys joined me for this episode. I like this game. This game has a lot of potential and I hope you guys uh, enjoy this uh, new series that I'll try to do on the channel because, uh, yeah, Crossout's getting a little, uh, a little boring. Anyways, let's uh, let's hop in right away. All right. Now, since the last time I've played, I did mess around in the uh, the building menus and stuff like that to see what we can do and stuff. Um, there is a lot of stuff that you can do that you know, everybody knows that already. But uh, first off, in the scenario, you have different eras. So, hey, wait, there's a I found I found something new. So armor space used three times handbrake, hand crank turrets only, engine tech zero percent, cannon tech zero percent. So we are in the World War One era. So uh, we don't have a lot of high tech stuff. So. The turret rotation speed is going to be slow no matter what I do. And the tanks are going to be kind of slow as well because the engines are pretty, uh, pretty old era. So armor space used three times. I'm not sure what that means, but um, let's see what we come up with. So I thought with, you know, since this is a World War One era and I believe like I, I fall, I watched like a documentary of the, the, the Mark One tank is that or the Churchill tanks. They made that tank to uh, fight trenches like because the enemies were hiding in trenches so they needed like a vehicle an armored vehicle with long tracks that could just drive over the trenches so um we're gonna try and make something like that ah uh, yeah i really don't know how i would start with the the mark one tank i kind of do want to still have angles and let, let me okay let me just quickly check that's the width That's the height. Okay, that's too high. We kind of want to have like space for our track since we're going to make like a Mark 1 type tank. Uh... Let's give it like an angle. So I still want to have it like, ooh, that's, I think something like that. I really, this, this, is this would be good for the back side and the front side would have, have like a, uh, different type of angle. I'm not sure how I do that. I think like this. Yes. Yes. Something like this. But then this needs to, I don't want to, this is good. Oh, there's nothing I can do about that. Okay. We'll have it like this. We'll have it something like this, maybe a little bit more angled and have like the front we, we don't want to have like a flat flat part in the front uh, exposed. So something like this. I hope this works out. I hope this really works out. All right. I think we got a we got a pretty promising design here. Um, the turret is kind of weird still. Let's do it like this. The angles should help. I hope the angles are good enough. All right. I think we're done with the hull. Can we angle the, the side here? to like give it a little bit more protection front strip lower mm, maybe we should lower our tank a little bit oh no that's the other thing uh oh yeah i was gonna do the front make it a little bit different no not like that maybe just oh i did something okay maybe just like over here and then lower this bit to give it a more aggressive angle yeah, I think like that. That should work. Um, 
Yeah, I think that's good. Spawn Sons extrusion. Oh, that's the the sides there. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if I can have like a fully exposed track, just like the Churchill. But I'm gonna leave it since it does give us some protection, hopefully. Let's actually do it a little bit wider. I, I might make the tracks a little bit wider. I think 80 millimeters should be good, or 80 uh, 80 centimeters. The slant. Should I do a slant? Oh, what the frick? Oh, now we can have like, uh, we have a storage capacity here so people can sit in the back. I don't think we need to give it a slant. I guess we could do this. Make it a little bit more cool. Cooler design. Oh God. Look at this. The aerodynamics of this thing is beyond this world. <laughs> All right, let's make it, make, make it more serious. Front glazes is good. Rear glazes. It makes my tank look very weird, like the hull isn't spacious enough. Alright. Kind of want to have some room for my screw in there. So yeah, this looks good. This looks good. Um, oh, that was spawned on front strip, rear strip, lower, upper. I don't know what the side is called. Because I saw in the first video that I made, I could like angle it. But anyways, let's uh, let's move on to the turret. Turret design. I think I'm gonna go for like a T34 type turret or a Panther turret. The Panther turret is flat up top. Oh, whoa! Now this is a turret. <laughs> All right. Let's be serious here. The Panther turret is something like this. How do I get those like lines? Like, okay, the front of the Panther turret is something like this. It's like a, a square, but then it's a little bit angled. Let's make it bigger. Yeah, so this is like the Panther turret, right? So when you look at it, you don't really have a lot of options to shoot. The side is obviously super like flat-ish of the Panther, something like this. No, it actually angles back in the back, something like this. Yeah. All right, uh, shape forward offset. I think it should be a little bit more to the front. Yeah, right. Maybe a little bit more to the front. Yep, something like this. Uh, fixed turret, no. The height. Oh, third ring height. I think it's good at 0.5. Diameter should be fine. It's a little bit like really you can like see it, but that's okay. The front angle. Maybe we should angle it a little bit, just a little bit. Just for some extra protection. 13 degrees is fine. The length is good. The cheek is good. I think the cheek accidentally got reduced again. We're gonna line it up with this line right here. The height is good. The middle length, I want a bit longer. So we're gonna have to do the offset again. I think this is fine. So the width, I think was good. The height was good like this. The angle of the middle. But yeah, this is what I was looking for, but I couldn't find it. So the Panther turret has so slight angle on its side as well. Now, now this time, now this one is a little bit long. I think this is something like the Panther, right? Looks pretty, pretty okay as for a turret. Okay, so I think I'm done with the turret. Uh, let's go to mobility. Let's actually go to the crew. Let's uh, do the commander's hatch. All right, 
let's go few ports gunner few port we're gonna have the gun right here and i believe for the panther it's on this side uh driver's port dude like uh i think just up here and this is like passenger ports we're gonna have them in the back so we can see if somebody tries to sneak up on us let's actually rotate them to the rear antennas we're gonna use the old school antenna Stowages don't really need it, but we're gonna have we're gonna put one in the back here. Beautiful! Wow, it, it, dude, this game is pretty awesome, man. Like, uh, just I just freaking love it. All right, um, panels. Oh, this is a tough one. Where do I put these? Over here? <laughs> Actually, in the back would be. Oh, yeah, there we go. This is where people escape. Perfect. Our hatches. Lights. We're going to skip the lights for now. Utilities. We're going to have a tactical log over here. No, we can't put it over there. Let's have a log over here. And the extra tank cables over here. Anti-infantry. We're not going to go. I mean, I guess we can put a turret over here. Kind of like a panther. Um, but yeah, that's for crew. All right, so the commander is in the turret. Driver's in the hull. Gunner in the turret. Loader in the turret. I want an extra crew man, which is going to be the radio guy. And let's quickly test if this thing works. All right, she moves. I'm a little concerned of the clearance down below. She works. She works. I'm a little concerned of the clearance down below. So let's go back to rolled wheels. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, make them a little bit bigger. I think this should give us enough clearance down below let's also change the sprocket type and the idler wheel type road wheels let's leave them like this oh yeah you can change the suspension type let's uh you got all different types of suspension so you can oh shoot that reset the thing oh man return rollers same type as well tracks let's go for I think these one were the old school ones. Oh, spare tracks. Uh, let's put them in the front as extra armor. All right, I think, I think, I think that works. Defenders, let's add defenders again. We have different type of fenders. Oh, beautiful width. Let's uh, make them. Something is sticking out over there. I'm not sure what it is. Hello. That is kind of ugly, but okay. Uh, man, it's really ugly, but I think we're gonna... It's so ugly, I can't. It's too ugly. Yeah, we'll just do it like this. I mean, it kind of looks okay. Oh, yeah, I wanted to increase the width of my track. So, uh, track width. There we go. Make them a little bit bigger. All right, now for the gun. Um, for the gun, I'm not sure what this thing is. Like, it's a square. You can still put a gun in it, but it just looks weird. So, we're going to go for maybe something like... Well, let's go for medium mantle. Let's go for a Sherman turret. It doesn't look that cool. And this one doesn't fit. What about this one? This one fits. This is like the ISU-1. Oh, 
ISU 100 or something kind of turret or SU-85 turret. Uh, I think I'm going to go with this one. Can I like make it smaller? I can't. I can't rotate it either. And if, it, if I put it like this, it kind of collides with the bottom here, which is not good. All right, so figuring out the gun uh, because I needed a good elevation rate and reload and penetration and everything. Uh, we came up with this ugly gun, but at least I have an elevation rate and a good depression. So I think we are almost done. I think we had a crew ready. We did the crew already. Uh, we have to choose our livery. Autumn Snow Desert Forest. Let's go for... Uh, this one's cool. Oh, uh, this one looks like a snowy type area. Oh, this is good. Nice and uh, green camel. Um, and I think we're ready to roll, guys. I don't think I forgot anything. We got decals. We can put a star. Let's put a star here in the middle. Let's make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Beautiful star. Uh, I think we're done. Let's uh, take it out for a test drive and see if we can survive. I actually want to put some panels on the side. Let's quickly do that before we head out. Now, where do I do that? Base, hull. Mobility, fenders, front. Yeah, there we go. We can put some panels on the sides. What the hell is this? How do I rotate it? Oh, okay. Make them bigger. I think this is good. And in the front, we don't need anything in the front, but we're going to put a little one if we can. I don't think we can. Oh, yeah, we can. We can. We can. All right. There we go. The ultimate tank for World War One. Let's go. Four second reload. Not too bad. Speed is decent. The turret feels kind of feels like it doesn't fit with the tank. But the tank itself is good. I like it. It's smooth. Pretty good front armor. Lower glazes is not the best. Looks like it can get bent easily. Oh, we have some teammates as well. We got a total of two extra teammates. Nice. All right. Let's see if we can uh, get over these uh, trenches. Oh, the... Uh, oh, my God. What the hell? Oh, 80 gun killed Mark 20. Oh, my God. Ooh, our tank is not good. One of our guys just got below ammo racked or something. That is no bueno. Oh man, I don't have to go back. I might have to go back to a drawing board and like, increase the armor or something. But let's see what happens to us. Maybe it was the AI's fault. Got some massive arty shells landing. Oh, for some reason I can't really traverse, which is kind of an issue. Oh, now it goes. I have to let go of the forward button. Okay, that's a lot. Of oh my goodness! Whoa! Come on, elevate! Whoa! Who's shooting at me? Let's wait for the shell to fly again. There we go. Oh my god, the traverse is so slow! Oh, it's too low. Good thing we got a pretty fast reload. I can't really see what I'm shooting. Oh, that's a massive shell. Oh, a little bit low. I think this one should get him. I think, it, yeah, it's that thing over there. Ah, oh, low again. So far, so good. Non penetration on us. What? I think we're gonna have to move closer, guys, because I can't really see what I'm shooting at. There we go. Whoa! We got ammo rack. Oh my god. We're gonna have to go back to the drawing board. Something is not right with the... We're going to just increase the front armor. I think that's what we're going to do. We're just going to increase the front armor so we can't get penetrated from the front. Dude, the mist is so annoying. Oh my god. Oh, we let... There we, there we go. Trench warfare, baby. We got it. Oh, it's a freaking hole here. I don't want to go in this hole. Oh, I see who's shooting us. Come on, traverse, traverse. There we go. Aim up. Oh, oh shit, Le Artie's gonna land here. Artie's gonna land here. Go, 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 go. Uh, 
This thing is so slow. Lucky Heart didn't land on us, but man, our crew is pretty banged up. Oh, okay, he's shooting over there. Come on. Any day now, I see what it is. It's like uh, back 40 or something. I don't think we can get this any faster. It is extremely slow. Oh god, we got wrecked. Alright, back to the drawing board. Alright guys, so after going back to the drawing board so many times, we kind of finally came up with this uh, weird T95-ish Hetzer build. It's unpenetrable, so that's good. It's a bit slow, but I think it can get the job done if it doesn't get stuck in these trenches no it does not all right here we go as you guys can see uh i made a lot of changes and i kind of got frustrated <laughs> with this mission it is so difficult like okay so you, first challenge is you got the trenches right the next challenge is the 80 guns and the terrain and then thirdly the fr there's freaking tanks coming to attack you later on like what the hell and I, I would have been able to complete the mission, but then they destroyed my tracks, so I couldn't move anymore. So that's why the tracks are extra thick now. Oh, um, we already got one AT our artillery piece, which is that one over there, which is smoking. Oh my goodness! Shoot, did you guys see that right next to me? We still survived. You gotta love this D95-ish build. There you go. Okay, it eats up. Oh god, a hole. It eats up trenches now but does it eat up holes because we actually got stuck in a hole like this earlier which is kind of stupid like each time i'm close to getting to the end oh my god it's happening again each time like i get close to the end there's like a hole see i'm stuck again i can't believe it i'm stuck again can you believe this guys i can't believe i keep getting stuck like this okay let's traverse that should help out all right, guys, I think this is the furthest I've ever been on this mission. This thing is hard. All right, let's quickly. Oh, I'm getting ambushed. Let's quickly do a recap. I changed the build completely because this is the only thing that actually works pretty decently. I removed the third. I removed. All right, I think this is the furthest I've ever been. We have tanks, enemy tanks attacking us. Uh, I changed the build completely. I'll show you guys in a bit. Let's quickly switch to armor piercing rounds and deal with this enemy vehicle that was a no soft on that one. Oh my god this is not good a bit higher stop moving thanks oh my god it's not good oh this thing is still firing at me what the hell there's so many things shooting at me all right 80 gun down let's move on to the tanks Bit higher third triangle no sauce all right let's switch ammunition type maybe that'll help nothing yet here we go first ammo rack second ammo rack let's get a third Oh, that's too high. Oh, let's get it stirred. We need to get it stirred. Oh, that's a thick boy. Uh, how do? How can we penetrate him? We'll switch to armor piercing. Hopefully that'll help. There we go. We got his something. Okay, we got him. He's on fire. He's on fire. All right. So we have... I, I was getting shot from the... Ooh. Don't shoot me, don't hurt me. Tur tur uh, a vehicle traverse is kind of wonky, but it works. Let's get this AT gun. Come on, come on, there we go. Oh, that's so much. There we go. Alright, I think we dealt with all the targets. Is my teammate still alive? I think he is. He's over there. All right, I think now it's just clear sailing towards the artillery pieces, I hope. Because, man, this has been a challenge. Kind of exciting, though. A lot trickier than Besiege, in my opinion. 
Oh, it's another hole. The worst enemy of this vehicle was these holes right here. Because I would get stuck in them and I could... Whoa, I'm still getting shot. Oh, shoot. No, my commander got hurt pretty bad. I thought this guy was gone. What the hell was he doing? Taking a break, tricking me that he was dead? Alright, that's good. Oh, my engine got damaged as well. That's not good. We need the power. There we go. I wish we had like some kind of binocular so we could look around. Alright, so let's switch ammo type again. Okay, trenches are no longer a problem for this vehicle. It's kind of cool that you can see the like the hit marks. It's pretty awesome. Uh, my teammate, he's still over there. I think he's stuck or something. We're pretty close to the artillery pieces. That's nice. Hopefully no more surprises. Because, uh, yeah, it's been like a few hours already gone by. <laughs> Just like trying to complete this mission. All right, I see one more arty piece, artillery piece over there. We need to destroy. I already destroyed one, this one. This was my first attempt. I sniped it from like super far away. Oh my god, what the frick are those things? More tanks? Do you guys see the, the, the barrel on that thing? Wait, 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 wait. Or is that an artillery piece? Oh, I think these are the artillery pieces. Okay. Oh, oh shoot. He's, he's, no, he's, he's trying to aim for me. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. These are the artillery pieces, I think. Oh, it's too high. Am I dead? Everything's gray now. A little lower. Oh, God. The mountain's in the way. The little hill there. Oh, that's not good, guys. I think I'm dead. Let's push up a little bit more. I'm not sure what these things are. They look scary, though. They look like a bunker. Okay, now, now I got a clean side shot on them. But my third reverse, my tank reverse, isn't really working. There we go. Oh, my God. Oh, it's a Mark One tank. Whoa, look at that design. That's so freaking awesome. Oh. Oh. Oh, what the hell? He left? Oh, what the frick? He left already. Uh, third person shot. No sauce. Let's switch your AP. Oh, man, look at that design. So beautiful. He's struggling too, though. Let's get his gun, because I don't want him to shoot me. Oh, dude, how do we kill this thing? Oh, God, dude, this is not good, guys. Oh, no. Let's get his track. Let's immobilize him. Come on, let's go. Oh, frick. We're firing APHE now. It's not, nothing's happening to his tracks, unfortunately. He's slowly. Let's do this Capola or something. Dude, this guy. Oh my god, dude. This guy's impenetrable. Let's get this gun. You know what? I'm just gonna leave this guy because uh, you just do you, man. You just. I don't think he can even aim. Ooh. Ooh, you. Don't you dare shoot me in the back. Oh, he's trying to. He's trying to. Dude, don't you dare, dude. Let me just shoot that Artie, which is right over there. Ah, he's stuck. <laughs> he's stuck. He can't move. There's another one over there. Oh, look at these arty pieces. You guys have been really annoying to deal with. Let's just drive over this little hill over here. Oh, God. Oh, oh he shot at me. Oh, no. St oh, oh, God. His reload is quick. I don't have any armor in the rear. I don't have any. Oh, my God. Make it past the hill. Make it past the hill. Make it past the hill. Alright. Oh god, guys, you have no idea how happy I am. Alright. These stupid artillery pieces have been annoying me for so long. Come on. Come on, elevation. Can't wait. Alright, we got one arty. Let's get that another another one over there. Can you guys believe I drove all the way from the base to here? There we go. Second arty. Let's get one more. Let's actually get this one right here. 
I'm not sure how many artillery pieces there are. I thought we got 75% already. Alright, last one, last one, please. Blah, 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 last one. Come on. Come on, game. I'm tired. Oh my god, victory, finally! I am tired, guys. I wanna go to bed. <laughs> Next mission, enter. Oh, okay, now the ambush, the la the one we did last time. I'm not gonna do this today. I wanna load up my tank. This was a pain. Now, the, the, now we are in the interwar era. Let's quickly test drive it and see what we can do. Oh, wow, the engine is so much more powerful now. Oh, look at that. So the, the higher you go in era, the more high deck the vehicles can become. Let's get this guy real quick. <laughs> oh, this mission. If I had the knowledge going into this mission last time, I would have been like, I would, I would have done so much better. But it says survive or escape. So I want to see if we can escape. If we can escape like this. Oh, God, we already escaped. These guys are noobs. I'm the ultimate tank builder. Yep, I got it. This was super easy. <laughs> that's what happens when you spend hours designing a tank to make it like perfect. Oh, that's the end. That is the end. And they're ha they have like some kind of panther here to protect it. Oh, pfft. no panther can stop me. Die. Dude, this is so easy. Yeah, victory. <laughs> I did two missions in one <laughs> in one session. It was a long session. Yeah, I am the ultimate tank designer. If only Germany had hired me during World War II, I would have made them have an easy victory with my tank designs. Weird joke, but hey, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, Sprocket's fun, but I've learned a lot today. So next video should be a little bit more smoother. Uh, I might do this one and try and survive the ambush. I think, I guess, I technically already did. We'll just skip this mission then and do the next one afterwards. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace out.